Hi, I'm Cara from Wall Camden Sleeps, which is now becoming Cara Meta, and today I'm going to show you this refashion. So this is a coat I inherited from my grandma when she passed away, and it's already quite beautiful, but I just wanted to update the fit and the style just a little bit more. And this is what I ended up with, a peplum trench coat with slightly longer sleeves and a little bit more fitted in the bodice area. So let's go ahead and before we start, I just want to pay tribute to my grandma. So this is my grandma Meta when she got married. She is my dad's mom. She had five sons, which is kind of like me because I have three boys right now. And she did a lot of work with the Polynesian culture and she learned Tongan by serving some missions there. This is her right before I went off to my first semester of college. And then the last photo I took with her was at my wedding. And that arrow shows you which one she is. The best part about this coat is that it has her name handwritten in it and also her last name um, sewn in as a label. Now the lining, which I wanted to preserve because it does have those tags on it, happens to just zip right in to the exterior. So I just took that out and made sure that my refashion coordinated with it so that I could zip it back in when I was done. My main challenge was creating a new style while keeping that zipper intact. So I ended up removing the sides just like you see, but keeping the button panels, so to speak, so that that zipper was still there. So I also, at this point, I've removed the sleeves so that I can take them in as well. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the coat on inside out on my dress form in order to help me know how far to take it in. And once I kind of guesstimated that, I used this orange thread to hand baste it, which I'm pointing to right now. Then I tried it on, made sure I liked the fit, and then I cut off the excess and used an overcasting foot to really hold those seams in together. And then in the back I did a little dart that will be covered when I stick the belt back on, right there. So to create the, pump, the peplum, I used a piece from one of McCall's patterns, and I had to make it longer so that it would fit that full length of the, the front part. So this is all of the extra fabric I had after I removed the length. And my goal was to get three of these peplum pieces. You can see how I used the white paper to make it longer. And it's a little wet because I just ironed it. So I want to get three of those. So two of them will be full pieces and then another one will be made by making two half pieces of that pattern piece. And I forgot to film it, but I did take a photo of it. So I'll show you that in a minute. Again, here's all of the extra fabric I had to work with. And of course there's my kids just hanging out on the side being awesome. So yeah, this is what it looked like. You can see there's two full pieces and then one piece that's made of, of a couple more. So once I had that done, I used my overcasting foot G and an overcasting stitch to just really seal up those ends so that nothing would fray. To attach the peplum piece, I hand basted a gather on the fabric and you can see that orange thread there. And before I did this, I actually sewed the sides of the peplum to the sides of the button panel um, let me open up the coat and show you what I'm talking about. So right there, I did that seam between the peplum and what was already there from the coat. And then I'm just going to really make sure that that gathers exactly where I want it and sew it on. And then I had to reattach the sleeves, so I brought them in a little bit and up a little bit, and I used these awesome clips to hold them in place. I also unpicked it and lengthened the sleeve. So my grandma's like seven inches shorter than me when she was living, and so you can see the creases where the original sleeve ended and I'm just gonna make a really tiny hem there so that I get some more length to cover my arms. So this is the final coat and I'm just zipping back in the lining, but obviously the lining was a little bit longer. Uh, I kept the length just to where the zipper started. So to shorten it, I didn't wanna sew everything. I was kind of lazy and I just used cam snaps, those blue snaps that you see right there. And once that was done, the coat was ready to go. So here's all the alterations if you want to pause to read them all, but I basically just, you know, created the peplum, took in the sleeves, took in the bodice, and then finished all my seams and hems. So here is the before and after, but bam! I feel like it's more obvious from the side. You can really see all the alterations from the side profile view. And then here's just me being like super goofy <laughs> with the before and after. And finally, here's the video before and after which honestly, I'm kind of impressed that my angles are the same. Like when I'm facing the back in both videos, the timing's pretty similar. I did not even plan that, I promise. And of course, a slow motion shot for kicks and giggles. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> anyway, that was the refashion. I hope you like it. Feel free to subscribe, comment, like, follow along, and I hope to see you next time.